The aircraft just landed. It's the most fantastic sight I have ever seen. I'll load it under my instruction. It's fantastic. It's the most thrilling moment in my life as an air charter broker. It is one of the more challenging tasks I ever had. Today, we will uplift the longest piece of cargo that has ever been uplifted in the world. There is a risk, a minimal risk, that something could happen to the blades. While taking off, there are some forces that will attack to the blades or also by landing. The reason for the windmill blades that are being flown to Denmark is because of speed. They are needed in the test facility in a very short while. We want to test them in our facilities in Lunaskov, Denmark. We will be doing um, the extreme tests. We have studied all possible things, but we still don't know if we will make this happen this afternoon. We really much hope so, but it's never been tried before. Biggest, biggest aircraft in the world and is now heading towards the end of the runway and it's, it's amazing. For a long time, technicians of LM have been in daily contact with technicians of Antonov Design Bureau in Kiev, exchanging 3D models of the blades and 3D models of the internal cargo bay of the aircraft, thereby simulating in 3D how to load the blades exactly. It's very difficult to load the blades into the aircraft. The blades are 42 meters long and the aircraft is only 43 meters long inside. This has never been tried before. So we need the aircraft to kneel in a certain angle so we can load the blades without putting any tension or pressure to the wheels and the blade itself while loading. Please, the, the people, the agents and the LM guys should step out. If we will take the truck, I'll load it under my instruction, okay? Let's see if, uh, if the blades will be, the wheels will be strong enough to to carry the weight up to the aircraft. That is the next challenge. Uh, we need to lower the blade back down so it sits in the cradle and the strap there. Um, We've got some uh, some extra straps to tie around to try and strengthen it a little bit more. So you think we should use the, the, the crane? Yeah, uh, probably the easiest way we can use crane. Okay. Okay. Right. Good. Then uh, let's start on that. <laughs> it's very dangerous. What's happening right now? If the if the blade doesn't move with the with the cradle, then it's going to to sweep and then it will smash. So how about if we put the two cranes? to hold the blade in case something happens. That would make sense? Just in case. If you take a look at the blade, it is very bulky and huge, but at the same time, uh, there are some parts that are very fragile, like the tip that is so sharp. So we have to be very, very careful at loading the, the blades. centimeters of clearance 80 centimeters that's what we've got and now we can start loading the second blade finally the loading has been accomplished and both blades are safely inside the aircraft and we are very happy and also very tired 
So now we are longing for the flight to Denmark tomorrow and offload the blades and they go to Kolding. So we are happy. Perfect conditions. Thank it's you. a success. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm happy. Let's get them uploaded. <laughs>